how to create a sales funnel using wix hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own sales funnel using wix so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that you need to do is find a website that you can you know become an affiliate with so this is the website i'm using right now no, this is just an example. I'm not going to show you how you can become an affiliate. You probably already know that. And if you don't, I've done tons of video on this channel. You can go ahead and check them out as well. So basically what you want to do is when you come over to these types of websites, you scroll down, you'll see the become an affiliate option. And what you want to do is just simply click on them and then you'll become an affiliate. And they'll basically give you a list of products that you can choose from to, you know, promote as well. And whenever someone, you know, clicks on those links to buy those products, you will earn a percentage of the commission from the money that they use to buy the product. So it's really important to, you know, get really, really high sales when you are an affiliate. So once you have done that, once you have become an affiliate, what I want you guys to do is just come over to this website called Wix.com. And over here, we're going to be creating a website from scratch so that you can know how to, you know, create a website and how you can, you know, add some things to it to, you know, become an affiliate marketer. So for this website, I'm going to go ahead and click on start now. And if you haven't, you know, uh, signed up you can click on the sign up button and all you have to do is enter in your email address a password and then you're basically done but i've already signed up so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in you using google now you can also sign up with google and i find it very very easy because you don't have to do a lot of things you just have to click on one button and you'll have basically done everything you don't have to put in all the information manually so i'm gonna go ahead and log in and once i have logged in uh over here these are some of the websites that i've created but we don't need that we're going to create our new website and we can create a new website by clicking on the create new site button over here so once you have logged in once you have signed up you can go ahead and create your new website and if i click on create new website we're going to go over to the wix creation tool where we'll be basically building us a store so over here they're basically asking a question what kind of website are you creating we're basically creating an email list basically an affiliate uh we're trying to create a funnel so if we search for affiliate marketing or affiliate club so what we're basically looking for is an affiliate marketing portfolio so let's just go ahead and click that and select this one and click on next and over here you will have two options you can either let the wix adi create a website for you or you can create your own website using the editor now what's the difference between them the wix will basically ask you a few simple questions and automatically get a website design just in a few minutes but if you choose to create your own website you'll have to start with a template make it your own with easy drag and drop tools and i recommend creating your own website but if you don't have enough time you can just go ahead and choose this option as well so let me just go ahead and edit a template and once we're over here these are some of the affiliate marketing uh websites that we have over here now what we can do is we can choose a website that we want and that'll basically be it now what i want to do is i want to choose this website over here but before i do that uh i don't see a lot of options over here basically we're trying to create a funnel i think we'll basically be needing a landing page i think that would be more suitable so if we search for landing page i click on this category so over here as you can see we have a couple of different landing pages over here and we can go ahead and do choose that so we're basically opting for you know plant-based vegan websites so what we can do is you know uh, choose a website that is similar to this one over here it has food in the background we can change everything we can add plants and you know change the text and everything so let's just click on edit and edit this website so once we're over here as you can see this is how the website looks like now what we need to do is change up a little bit of things so now that we're over here this is how the template will look like and this is going to be our website now what we need to do is we need to change a few things so what we need to do is we need to change the background so let me just select the background real quick change the page background and over here what we can do is we can either you know upload our own image or video or we can select the image or video from wix's library so let's just choose something that is vegan that is vegan and plant-based so so let me click on image and over here what i want to do is i'll search for some different images so let me go over here media from wix and over here search for vegan so as you can 
see I've searched for vegan and all these options have come up. So what we can do is we can pick out an image that we think is is most suitable and will look really really nice on our website. So I think so I think that uh something more plant based, something minimalistic, something that looks really really nice. Uh let's just see a couple of images over here. There was one up at the top that looked really nice. Uh this one over here. Uh I think this will look pretty good. So let's just change the background. Click on change background and give it a few seconds so the background has been changed so this is how it looks like and it looks pretty good uh, i'm happy with that now what we need to do is we need to change some of these headings so let's just change it to benefits of vegan diet let me just capitalize some of the words over here some of the letters and once we have done that we can like you know uh, change the size of the board as well so this looks pretty nice actually uh let me just uh adjust it real quick over here i think this will look good okay so this is how it looks like i think it looks pretty good let me just you know change this over here delete that okay i'm sorry uh, i accidentally deleted that i did not mean to you know let's capitalize that over here and let's just you know remove that how do we remove it it's not removing uh let me just delete that okay so now it's deleted now we can you know move th this block and okay so now that we've changed the heading and stuff like that what we need to do now is over here what we need to do is change up the text real quick so this is the home and over here what i want to do is i want to change it up a little bit so over here as you can see it's his home uh i want to change it how do i change it um basically what i want to do is okay so let's just delete that and bring this one over here and increase the size and over here let's just bring it to the center of the block it's not you know being centered real quick uh let me just adjust it okay so over here it's in the center what i want to do is i want to change this to uh subscribe to know more so what we can do is we can change it to subscribe to learn more and get a okay so this is what i've written this is the going to be our main headline so let me just increase the size of it and adjust it real quick okay so as you can see we've adjusted it and what we need to do now is we need to ch change this text actually let's just delete this text and what we need to do is we need to bring this whole block up over here so that it matches everything this is in the center let's take it up over here so this looks pretty good and over here as you can see it says sign up and get 10 percent off on first order thanks for submitting and stuff like that let's actually remove this text we don't need that text okay so now it's done and over here we can you know change the get subscribers tag to change it up but we don't need to do that right now we'll do that at the end of the video and then down below you can change the address and the social marketing and our social media icons as well we can or we can leave it at that and if you have a social media account you can link those social media accounts by clicking on this button and over here you can click on get social links and over here just simply choose this one and over here add the link over here as you can see it's the over added over here something like this and just simply click on done and that is basically it so this is over here benefits of eating a vegan diet let me just increase uh, the size of this now let's change it to something like this over here as you can see let me just center align it over here and over here as you can see it looks pretty nice so this is how it will look like now what we need to do is we need to click on this now what we need to do is we need to you know save this mode so we need to save it and over here what we need to do is we need to add a site add to site no we don't need to add to site we what we want to do is you know add a new page so this is going to be our front page now what we need to do is add a new page so to add a new page come over here at the left side and over here you will say page and over here let's click on manage pages and over here let's just add a page and once we do that we can either add a blank page or we can you know add a already provided template come over here onto services and what we need to do is you know we need to come over here onto contact and over here what we can do is we can add a simple page that will let us know the emails and stuff like that so what we can do is we have to you know preview this page let's just check it out okay it looks pretty nice yes let's just add this page wait a couple of seconds for the page to be added and once it's added let's just go over 
to contacts and this is how it will look like so this is how it will look like now what i wanted to do is we needed to create a separate one so what we basically need to do is couldn't uh, add another separate page for some reason but i think we can work with this as well so what we can do is we can come over to here onto the subscribe button and we can come on over here to click on settings and over here what we can do is we can you know show success message and over here it will say thanks for subscribing and how long does it show? Let's just, we can, you know, uh, change the timer over here to how long we want it to be, you know, shared. Or we can, you know, change it to always. So you click on always, it'll stay like that. What we can do is we can also link it to as well. What, what we can do is we can add a external link. This will basically what I wanted to do, but I figured out a smarter way. What I basically wanted to do was if we choose a link, it will have to basically link in separate page where it will say thank you for subscribing. That's not what I wanted to do, but it already has a show success message over here, which is pretty good. We don't have to do a lot of work. So once we have done that, just simply, you know, close it up. And what we can do is we can like, you know, uh, move this box real quick. So what I wanted to do is move this box over here down below. So that it's centered and we can see it it's pretty nice and clean so next thing we, we want to do is we want to you know save the site that is basically it don't show again and click on done now what we can do is we have to go on to settings and over here what i want to do is exit the editor so once we have edited the website what we have to do is we have to select and edit this website again but this time we won't be, you know, going into the editor. We'll be going into the dashboard. What we need to do, we need to set up a automation of emails. So we can do that by Wix's tool as well. They provide that as well. So what we need to do is we need to come over here onto CRM tools over here on the left side on underneath dashboards. And over here we see we have automations. Let's click on automations. And over here, what we have to do is we can go ahead and create a new automation so click on new automation and over here we have to you know choose the we can name the title as well so we'll just say new automation and then down below we can choose a trigger what we can choose is we have to choose a wix form what we can now do is we can choose a follow-up action which is send email and over here we as you can see this is going to be the email we can edit that later but for now this is how it looks like and then what you need to do is you can if you want you can edit the template for now what you want to do is you can change the text to you will receive your free ebook in a couple of minutes and once you've done that just simply click on activate and your crm automation will be activated and then that is basically it after that you will have to you know publish your website and once done that just sit back relax and let the cash flow come in so that is how you basically create a website funnel using wix so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification and also hit the like button as well and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye